cleaning with your closet? Several hours worth? Six hours Six worth. Six hours worth. That's something that maybe you could have a professional do, but we're going to talk about maybe. some spring cleaning that you must have a professional do. Carrie Tittles here from ARS Rescue Reuter. Good to see you. You as well, we're Tracy. Duct. D U C T, right? Yes, not duct. Duct. When, when it comes to the, the, the duct work in my home, I've, I've reached down through the, through the register to get the Lego. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe about that far, but yeah. I haven't really thought much beyond that. And there is several hundred feet in the average home, probably. There, there really is, and you know, you really can't see past the elbow, right. you know, unless you have some tools to do that. But uh, that's that's where we come in, and we can help you, Tracy. I mean, in springtime with the spring cleaning, uh, now is a great time to get your ductwork cleaned uh, by a professional company. Your ductwork is has been shown to be a collection source for many particulates from dust. Uh, pet dander, cooking, you know, those, all those kinds of things can collect in your duct work and potentially cause issues for, uh, you know, folks with allergies, things of that nature. Now, what did you bring here? <laughs> what, are we, what are we looking yeah, at here? Th this, is, this, is, uh, this is quite the contraption. Yeah, and obviously, this one's seen better days. Okay, but, uh, but well, it means it's been good to put, yeah, put yeah, to use. Yeah, this, right? is, this has been a lot of homes here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a duct cleaning machine. This okay. is a HEPA, uh, HEPA air machine, a 2500, mm -hmm. and uh, this this has about 250 times the strength of like your normal Dyson or oh, wow. know, okay. a vacuum cleaner. And uh, this is a three filtration system. Ooh. Okay, you got a collection filter, right, and then a, a multi bag uh, filtration system that everything passes through. Okay, and then you have a HEPA filter. All right. Now, a HEPA filter is certainly different than a HEPA type. You okay. want a true HEPA filter. It, it, uh, a HEPA filter collects 97.97 percent right. of particulates that are 300 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Okay. Whoa. So that even if you're using the top-notch filter that's that would be recommended for your air conditioning furnace unit, uh, this is still going to get that much more, right? It, 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 it absolutely will, and, and uh, there are all different kinds out there. This mm -hmm. is one of the best out there on the market, and how this works, Tracy, is you see this big opening? Yeah. We would actually take this, and we would hook a flexible, you know, almost like a large vacuum cleaner hose, mm -hmm. like this picture over here to mm -hmm. your left, Okay. and we hook that up to your ductwork, okay. right, usually down by your furnace, mm -hmm. and then we uh, attach this. Uh, to an air hose, okay. and then what we do is we seal off all of your registers, your openings, sure. all right. except for the one we're cleaning, and then we stick this on the end, we stick it down in there, and it bounces wow. around and it knocks, just knocks all the debris Everything off, out, cleans it up. and it all sucks down into this. Now, this time of year, we hear, uh, I've heard things like on the radio and such, offering some deals that actually sound too good to be true when it comes to what they want to do as far as other companies and duct cleaning. What should we be looking for if, if we want this done? Well, first of all, you hit it right on the head. Usually, you know, if it too, sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Okay. And there's a lot of, lot of big deals out there, but this, an, average, an average job uh, that we do takes about three to five hours, depending okay. on how many openings you have. Sure. So, you know, these $99 specials that you see, you know, unless it's part of a package where you're getting new equipment, mm -hmm. um, I would be very leery of that okay. and, and just based on the time that it takes to do those. You know, a good, a good way for the homeowner to really... Uh, guard themselves against that. Is just check anyone of the Better Business Bureau. Sure, exactly. Things of that nature. Yeah. So, um, how often does this, should this be done? You think? Well, um, it, it really depends on a lot of things. It's a good question, but it depends on you know how, you know uh, the cooking type of cooking you do, whether or not you have pets. Pets, sure. Uh, things of that nature. But you know, once depending on on uh, you know when you have it done, three to five years. Okay. I mean, oh, it's right. something you should check out. But you know, a lot of people ask me who are candidates for this. It really, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of folks that, you, that uh, really don't understand that even if you're in a new home, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good idea to get this done. Sure. Um, if you're uh, not in a new home, but a new home to you, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good idea to get this done just from the previous owners, pets, things right. of that nature. Just never, get a clean start. Never really, there you go. Way to put it. Never really know who lived there before you. Good stuff, Carrie. always appreciate that. We have the link on our website, IndyStyle.tv. That thing. Where'd that furry thing go? What'd you do with it? Oh, I put it back there. Oh, you I put it back. To, there. I didn't want to okay. trip on it. All right. Well, when we come back, his dad was known. Was